good morning to all so the phase one session is over and uh, almost uh, they may declare within few hours uh, the je means first phase result so clearly you have to see that result indicate only they will give the percentiles only they will give percentiles so according to that percentile in which colleges you will may get seat i'll tell but before that you have to remember that the first session is over and after writing the second session best of two they will take and they will give the rank also and at that time only they will give the cut off needed for the advance cut off needed for the advance అయితే ఒక్కసారి గుర్తుంచుకోండి ఇప్పుడు ఫస్ట్ సెషన్ అయింది ఫస్ట్ సెషన్ రిజల్ట్ కొన్ని గంటల్లోనే వస్తుంది అయితే ఈ రిజల్ట్లో మనకి పర్సంటేజ్ మాత్రమే ఇస్తారు ఈ పర్సంటేజ్ ద్వారా ఏ ఇంజనీరింగ్ కాలేజ్లో ఏ నిట్లో మనకి సీట్ వస్తుంది అనేది నేను ఇవాళ చెప్పదలుచుకున్నా దీంతో పాటుగా ఇంకోటి గుర్తుంచుకోవాల్సింది ఏంటంటే నిట్ ఫస్ట్ సెషన్లో మనకి సీటు రాకపోయినప్పటికీ మంచి మార్కులు రాకపోయినప్పటికీ మంచి పర్సంటేజ్ రాకపోయినప్పటికీ ఇది చాలా జాగ్రత్తగా గుర్తుంచుకొని ఇంటర్ ఎగ్జామ్ అయిన వెంటనే మళ్ళొకసారి ఒక ప్రణాళికా బద్ధకంగా మంచిగా చదివి సెకండ్ ఫేజ్లో మంచి మార్కులు తెచ్చుకుంటానికి ప్రయత్నించండి అంతేగాని ఫస్ట్ ఫేజ్లో మంచి మార్కులు రాని వాళ్ళు ఏమాత్రము అధైర్యపడవద్దు సో దోస్ ఆర్ నాట్ గెటింగ్ a గుడ్ పర్సంటేజ్ ఇన్ ది ఫస్ట్ సెషన్ డోంట్ వరీ డోంట్ ఫీల్ టెన్షన్ బికాస్ with respect to these ideas what you have written in the first phase whatever the mistakes you have done you observed already you wrote that exam so you know that what are you have mistake you committed what type of the things you have to study in the next session for the april 1 to 8 they are conducting for that in a particular manner you make your own schedule prepare yourself and write to get and to improve your percentile and you have one more thing is the after second session only first or second whichever the better they will take and with that best percentile they will give the rank with respect to that rank uh, during that time only they will give the cut off for the advance also meanwhile with these percentiles what are the seats expected so because many students and parents are furious or i can say they are asking also that so with this percentile either my ward may get a seat or not or you may get a seat or not to get idea that i want to express very clearly you see this uh, if we take 2025 2025 counseling will be there in july whereas according to 2024 what are the percentiles and what are the expected uh, sorry with respect to that percentile in which college you got the seat so that i will want to tell in a major colleges now if you take here in the all the colleges because by means of uh, this je main rank you can join in nits you can join in triple its you can join in central funded institutes central funded institute this is also called central funded institute government funded institutes will say and also you may join in iit if you qualify and if you write the entrance whereas along with this there are some private colleges a major colleges which will take their engineering college seats or they will give the admission by means of the je means percentile and one more thing is top 10 colleges of the andhra pradesh and telangana b category seats also they will give by the je means rank and this year they wanted to give or can say the the government wanted to fill that uh, the b category seats also by means of the je means uh, directly by the mset convener only so so many opportunities are there if you take uh, there are 31 nits there are 26 triple its there are 23 iits and uh, so all together by means of uh, joint action counseling last year 126 college participated along with that some other private colleges already i told and some other b category seats are also there but in the convener quota only last year around 60000 seats 60000 seats are filled so those who are getting a less marks also don't worry for the second exam you write well prepare well by means of that rank you may get a good opportunities so now coming to to take uh, means those who are not qualified for the iit admissions 
IIT entrance. They may have other opportunities also like NITs, triple ITs, government funded institution, B category. Whereas those who are qualified, they're having along with this an IIT also. Advanced exam. And in that the rank, depending upon that, you may get the seats. Now, coming to the 2024 percentiles if we take. So very carefully see the screen. This is the actual data I am giving. Actual data. The last year, in the last year in open category for the girls in, because if you take the nits i wanted to uh, clarify here there may be three types category one the nits are of category one category two category three or you can say that it is a tire one tire two tire three three categories of the colleges are there first category top most colleges like nit warangal nit tiruchinapalli Nit Suratkal, Calicut, Nagpur, all these are of first category colleges. Second category colleges, if you take Jamsetpur, Delhi, Jalandhar, Goa, all that is of second category. Third category of seats, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Arunachal Pradesh, Jammu Kashmir, all these are third category of seats. That is only I named as Tire 1, Tire 2, Tire 3. Mean most of the students of Telangana and Andhra will generally prefer Tire 1. We will prefer mainly Tire 1 colleges. In the Tire 1 colleges, if you take very carefully observe it, in the last year 99.4 percentile is for the girls. In the last year, I am repeating again, in the last year, Computer science in open category for the girls 99.4 percentile and in the boys ended with 99.6 percentile. In the top nits like Warangal, Tiruchinapalli, Suratkal, Calicut, all these colleges I am talking to get for an open category student to get into a computer science the percentile needed is 99.4 for the girls, 99.6 percent for the boys and this is approximated because 99.6111 like that because up to eight digits they will give and whereas these are for the computers whereas for the girls 99.4 for the boys 99.6 for the obc and ews almost both are equal so i together i made obc girls 99.4 obc boys 99.45 whereas sc 98.13 and uh, say for the girls and for the boys, 98.3. Whereas if you take a mechanical for the Tire 1 colleges, if you take, a, because one core branch also I wanted to explain, in a mechanical open category student, those who got 97.2 percentile, the student who got 97.2 97.2 percent in the girls category, open category, she joined in the first two tire or the top colleges of the NITs. Whereas boys, 98 percent. Whereas in the mechanical for the OBC EWS, 96 to 97. 96 for the girls, 97 for the boys percentile is required to get into admission into mechanical engineering of the top colleges or the first tire or the first category top colleges whereas for sc 92 to 93 and for st it is 97 and 91 to 92 so that is you have to remember that also tire two colleges like jamsetpur like patna or you can say that uh, uh, we can take it as andhra pradesh all these colleges tire two colleges will say computers open category 97.2 for the girls for the boys 98 for the OBC girls 94.5, boys 95, whereas for SC 91 to 92, that is 90 to 94 for ST, almost same. So one percentile is different. So for a mechanical student of the open category, for a mechanical engineering for open category, boys 95, girls 94. For OBC 92 for girls, 93 for the boys in a mechanical engineering. Whereas SC 88 for the mechanical engineering, SC student in top uh, two tire, second type of colleges and 89 for the boys. 
third type i told arunachal pradesh nagaland manipur mizoram all these colleges if you take the three tier third tier will say are a little lower standard colleges of the nits that you want for a computer science open category 33 for the 93 for percentile is required for the girls 94 for the boys whereas 91 for obc girl 92 for the obc boy 80 for the sc boy uh, sc girl and 86 for the sc boy this also and for a mechanical in the th third category colleges 80 percentile is enough for the girls to get into a third category mechanical engineering whereas 85 is required for the boys this is the thing so now once again i wanted to do you the other things also if you take here already i told st 97.9 for the open category in first tier and uh, 98 for the boys 91 for the girls and 92 for the boys in mechanical engineering it's so almost same so i am not explaining that now in the last year if you take a reality clear cut ranks i am giving not expected this is the last year after five rounds of the josa counseling two rounds of the csap counseling will say centralized counselings after that uh, at the end the last student joined in varangal last student joined in varangal of open category boy is 3082 rank holder 3082 rank holder of a boy joined in open category computer science in the varangal whereas a girl 4683 in a tiruchi 1245 and 2850 for the girls whereas same thing in percentiles i wrote 99.80 percentile is approximate to 3082 rank that means if you get 99.8 the last year student of 99.8 percentile joined in varangal comprehensive and of a girl 99.68 in tiruchi 99.93 and 99.82 suratkal 99.87 these are the ranks and the percentiles also again so up to this a first category so in the first category category calicut if you take 99.64 for the boys open category boys open category those who got 99.64 in a calicut they got a computer science whereas a boy who girl who got 99.41 also got a computer science the respect to ranks also because rank this time now they won't announce after two months they will announce now in the second category like andhra pradesh and jalan the second category in andhra pradesh 19483 rank is a, is 98.36 percentile a open category a boy student who got 98.36 percentile got in computer science of andhra pradesh net uh, whereas the girl 97.74 that is equal to 26000 rank whereas jalandhar also same agartala these three agartala mizoram and manipur are the third category seats and lower colleges of the nits in that if you take 97.7 least is the 96.49 for open category 96.49 is the least percentile the computer science a boy student got in mizoram nit open category girl student of 93.62 they joined this is it and to get idea the last year the cut off is nothing but like this for the advanced cut off is 93.25 last year cut off this year to year it will change because it depends upon the number of students who appear we don't know now this year they are telling that 13.85 appeared but uh, after second phase the unique candidates how many appeared depending upon that the percentile will vary so the last year 2024 for open category 93.25 percentile who got who is qualified for the iit writing iit advanced writing exam so for iit advanced exam the 93.25 and above percentile boy students and girl students are qualified where the same thing will be there so whereas ews 81.32 percentile obc ncl because girls boys there won't be any separate cut off there won't be any separate cut off for that so that also you have to remember whereas for sc it is 60 percent for st it is 46 percent these are the the last year so this clearly indicate that if you take this is for the triple light is Uh, needs only i told along with that so many other colleges are enrolled there so if you take here only those who got 99% and above 
you are getting the computer science if you get uh, mechanical if you want a core branch you are getting 97 also you are getting a seat 97 percent also you are getting a seat and uh, whereas if we take a uh, triple it is lesser percentage also for a open category in triple it is will get so that means if you take triple it is if you take b category seats 90 and above also enough for a b category seat 90 percent and above also enough to get you into engineering college for as a triple it is 94 and above is needed for open category so these are the things you have to remember so all the best and prepare well for the second examination.